Whether you're just getting into YouTube and you're wondering how to make thumbnails and your YouTube banner, or you've got a picture that's just a little bit too dark, today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool photo editing software that is completely free and is almost as good as Adobe Photoshop with being free. So first I'm going to show you guys the alternatives because I feel like, I mean, I should show you. Um, the first one is Microsoft Paint. Um, and the problem with it is it's just really basic and there's really not much you can do. I mean, like these are your tools. So, I mean, you can use it, but you know, I, it is free, but there's really like you, you get what you pay for in this situation. Um, your other alternative is, uh, Adobe Photoshop, as I talked about, but Photoshop, I think I need to probably type in price for it to show. Photoshop isn't, it's like. This so it says ten dollars, but it's ten dollars a month. I don't know if you'll be able to see this anymore, or about one hundred and twenty dollars per year, um, which is pretty steep if you're just getting into YouTube and you kind of you know just want to like test the waters and really see what it's all about. So I mean, for a lot of people, one hundred twenty dollars is not going to happen for a shot in the dark in some cases, but this can. So what I basically my recommendation to you is you get Paint.net. Uh, we have to do paint, okay, paint.net. The link will be in the description, so you guys don't have to worry. Um, you can just click it, and it'll take you to this page. This is the download page. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to, I mean, first you might want to check the minimum specs, but, like, it's really low, and if you don't have those specs, you probably have some problems. Then you're going to come down here, and you're going to click on this little picture. That's going to take you to the next download page where you're going to click this. In this case, it doesn't show it. Sometimes it'll pop up with an ad that says download, but do not click it because the basically the ad is pretty smart. It puts a download on it. So if you're just doing it really quick, you'll click the ad and it'll download something you don't want and you can get the virus or whatever. But you're going to click this. It's really, really, really quick. So we'll go ahead and just stop that and close that. But once it downloads, you're going to like run the installer and then uh, like keep clicking next, you know, the, the normal drill. But once you're done with that, you will have paint.net. And I'm going to go ahead and launch it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, it really is a fantastic software. I've been using it for about two or three years now. I'm not sure why it's taking so long to load. Normally, it does not take that long. I have a pretty good computer, so I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, it is a fantastic software. I cannot say enough good things about it. And I will be bringing you guys some tutorials on how to make thumbnails and one on how to make channel banners in the near future. I just wanted to go ahead and remake this because my video before was kind of spotty in quality, so I decided I would kind of make this. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, my tutorials will be up soon, so if you're looking for how to make thumbnails, that will be on my channel very, very soon. Subscribe to stay tuned, and it'll be here in the coming weeks. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this software helps you. Peace out.